Hey gang, so I am doing another installment on Thrive, Brendan Brazier's book. And again, I myself am not vegan, um, but I am loving learning more about how to fuel my activity. And he, and he even says, you know, optimal performance for sports and life. And in this installment of the video, Brendan talks about how um, he was training and gaining weight and he was getting really frustrated and so what he decided to do is what most of us do when we start gaining weight is he decided to cut calories and knowing what he knows now looking back he's like man like I could have avoided a lot of injuries and fatigue you see what was happening is that um, when we feel like we're gaining weight we cut calories but even when you look at like nutritional labels it's based on a 2,000 calorie diet and so when you start cutting your calories, um, nu the nutrient density of the calories that you're consuming is huge. It's key because if you're going to cut calories out of those calories, you're also going to start cutting away the nutrients that you need. Um, and so he, he, you know, if you're only eating, you know, 1,200 or 1,000 calories, are you making sure that you're getting enough nutrients, the right amount of nutrients in those thousand calories? And the honest answer is that most of us aren't, which is why we have an obesity epidemic. Um, and that's also why I, I'm going to put a plug in for Shakeology because it is super packed with so many nutrients, so many dense uh, nutrition um, for the calories that I am consuming. And so he says that if uh, if you are overeating on calories um, based on what your body is utilizing, then cutting back calories will work, but only temporarily, uh, because that's when you hit the plateau, when your calorie consumption uh, and your uh, body utilizing those calories e evens out, and you hit a plateau because your body needs more nutrients from the calories that you're eating. And he says, but the thing is, is that most of us have done all sorts of different diets with only marginal success. So the root of the problem really is all the nutrients that you're getting for the amount of calories you're consuming. We need to be eating nutrient dense foods, looking at how many carbs, how many fats, how many proteins. And he says that, um, by, by adding this extra stress on ourselves. See, we can't control, and this is my plug-in, you can't control the stresses from the outside world. I mean, you've got the time change that happened. You've got babies that are teething, so they're up through the night. You've got snuffling noses, so they're up through the night. So you're running on little sleep already. You've got husbands that are packing to go away on a trip, so you know, you're gonna be by yourself. You may be a single parent already anyway, uh, you know, you've got school, you've got uh, all sorts of different things happening. You've got things getting lost in the mail. You've got trips coming up that you need passports for and they're not showing up yet. You know, you've got insurance increases in prices and all sorts of different outside stress uh, issues that are just bombarding you daily. You don't need the added stress of eating crappy and doing a nutritional stress on your body, especially with all these stresses coming in from the outside. You need to make sure your body is completely ready to withstand and give you the energy and, and be strong through all sorts of different crises that are happening right now. And so, because um, we know too that stress is a huge uh, factor when it comes to diseases, when it comes to cancers and and diabetes and fibromyalgia and 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 the obesity and and heart diseases and everything that is involved, you don't need more stress. So look at food as fuel. Whether you are doing sports performance or just daily life, making sure the calories you're consuming are nutrient packed. I know foods taste good. I love chocolate chip cookies as much as the next girl. But I know that with Kevin going away, the last thing I need is to feel gross, to feel icky, to feel lethargic, to not be able to sleep well because I'm going to be single parenting it for the next five days. And so I need to make sure I'm eating right and feeling my body right to be able to make it through. And so looking and changing your mindset about food as a way to make it through 
the days with strength instead of using it at the end of the day to reward yourself for barely surviving. Um, that's my motto, empowering people to live life, not to survive it. So I'm going to continue reading and uh, I'll check back again later with more stuff that I learned from this book. I'm really loving it and I hope that you know you guys pick it up and love it just as much as I am.